Today we are looking at this bad boy, Sonos Beam Gen 2. It is for your TV, but you can use it to listen to music or whatever you want. In our case, we are going to integrate this into Home Assistant. By the way, one other thing I realized is that when it connects to my phone, it doesn't really play music like a regular Bluetooth speaker. This one, you have to connect it to your network. Your phone connects to the network and then they talk to each other via the network. Before we integrate this into Home Assistant, I'm going to assume that you've opened a box, set up the speaker via the app, the Sonos app. Once it's on your network, try to get the IP address and make sure that it's a static IP address. To integrate this into Home Assistant, go down to Configuration, Integrations, Add Integration, search for Sonos. It looks like I can't add it because I already have it down here at the bottom. But when you click on Add, it will ask you for the IP address and go ahead and put in that IP address of your Sonos on your network. Once you add it in, you'll see this in the integrations. Go ahead and click on one device. You can see it's the same name as the one that you set up in the app. These are some of the entities that you can control your Sonos with. There's not much here. It's not that exciting. Now let's do something really fun. Go to File Editor. Open your config.yaml. Down here, add this integration in. TTS colon enter space space dash space platform colon space google underscore translate hit the save button and close it open your terminal up and do a restart ha core restart once it restart go into developer tools click on services in the service you can search for this tts.google underscore translate underscore say the entity will be media underscore dot name of your sonos in the message you can type in front doorbell here you can see in the background that it's playing We Are Al Yankovic, although it's been modded heavily so that YouTube can't catch the uh, license thing. While the music is playing or the TV is playing, you can just hit call service and it will stop the music and then it will play whatever you want it to play. Front doorbell. Front doorbell. Now here's one of the cool things that I did with my Sonos and video doorbell. Whenever somebody press the button, it will stop the music, stop the TV, whatever I'm doing on the Sonos, and then announce front doorbell to let me know that someone is at the front doorbell. So let's go ahead and set up that automation so you can see how it flows. Go into configuration, go down to automations, add a new automation start with an empty in the name you can name it whatever you want down and trigger go ahead and search for the entity that's responsible for when somebody pressed the button on the doorbell for me it's the amcrest video doorbell and this is the entity that's associated with the button press so when somebody press the button what we'll do the first action that I wanted to do is notify my mobile phone. So this service is notify.telegram. The message will be front doorbell. I have tablets around the house and the service for that is notify.mobile underscore app underscore tablet name. The message will be TTS and the title will be front doorbell. Here's another action I want to do. 
I wanted to alert another tablet that's in the house, and that's tablet number two. Same thing, TTFs, front doorbell. Let's add the Sonos in. Action will be called service. The service will be translate. The entity will be your Sonos. The message will be the same thing, front doorbell. And click save. And that is it. Pretty easy, right? Let me know if you have any questions about this automation or with the Sonos Beam. And as always, thanks for subscribing and supporting my channel.